would you ever pay $100,000 for a business coach? Just even saying that out loud sounds crazy. And I don't know about you, but the first thing that comes to my mind is all of the other things that I can buy for $100,000. So going back to my original question, would you ever pay $100,000 for a business coach? A lot of you would probably say, hell no, that, that's stupid. I'm not paying $100,000 for some coach. What? Get out of here. Don't, don't ask stupid questions, right? And maybe it is stupid for some people. But for me, I found on my entrepreneurship journey that the more I invest in myself, the more money I make. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Coach Ruben Brooks, and I'm the creator of the Fit Boss Blueprint online coaching program where we help fitness coaches and personal trainers take their business online and scale their business to six figures within six months or less. The number one reason why my business got to the point where it's at today is because I learned how to invest in business coaching. Yes, I learned how to invest in business coaching. I personally saw investing in business coaching as hacking knowledge. If I didn't know something, I would pay someone for the knowledge, then I would implement it immediately. When I first got started as a fitness coach, I didn't know how to take my business online and get out of the gym. My first business coach, I paid $5,000 for a six month coaching program. And six months later, I was actually making $5,000 per month, which was awesome, especially starting out at zero. What I found is that the more I invest into myself, the more money I make on the back end, and this happens over and over and over again. Investing in business coaching is how I was able to scale my business from $5,000 a month to $10,000 a month to 20,000, 30, 50, 70, 80, 100, now going over to 100 plus. I actually saw coaching as the investment. Over my career, in total, I spent roughly around $250,000 on coaching programs, mentorship programs, online courses, and business programs. Now, $250,000 is a big investment, but in all transparency, my goal over the next six months is to actually make $250,000 per month, right? FitBoss is already doing around $130,000 per month right now. And so I hired Bedros to help me scale my business and take it to the next level. Because ultimately, I don't know what I don't know in regards to taking my business to the next level. I personally wanted to invest in a coach and continue on my education to also show the coaches who I coach with that it's okay to get coaching and it's okay to not know everything and that there's different levels to the game. In today's video, I wanna take you behind the scenes with me in my first half day with Bedros Koulian in his Domination Year coaching program. The reason why I chose Bedros is because he is the OG in the online space of fitness and marketing. As the founder of the Fit Body Bootcamp, the Squire program, True Lean Supplements, and a ton of other businesses, Bedros does extremely well financially, and he's also coached a lot of my colleagues in the space, such as Vince Del Monte, Wes Watson, Mike Rashid, and Jason Phillips. So if anyone could see any of my blind spots in my business as a coach, it would be someone like Bedros. But what you're telling me is being I'm ready to go like to a whole new level phase. Like I wanna I wanna play with the big boys and girls and that means we have to scale very differently because otherwise uh, you find yourself in a position where how do I say this? You get burnt out. I've mean, I've seen way too many people who are like, man, I got work ethic for days, cool. But you always burn out when someone else is leveraging systems and other people to be able to scale the business. This is called domination here is we spent that six months getting two years worth of results, and then we spent the next six months getting two years worth of results. So how do you want to pay for it? hundred grand, or do you want to break it up into four payments? I'll probably break it up into four payments. Gotcha. That's mm -hmm. easy enough to do. Any questions for clarity? Or are we good? <laughs> no, I'm good. This is great. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I love it. Um, good talking to you. Just send me your email address when we get off this thing, and. Uh, I'll send an email to Joe and show them it all up. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you in text now.
Sounds good. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Today was my first day of half coaching. The day started out with him going over the house rules and how coaching would be done. And then he gave me the floor to open up about my business so he can see where I'm at and create a game plan. My goals were to double my income, turn FitBoss into a brand that was bigger than myself, scale my sales team, launch my first in-person mastermind event, and also turn myself, approved by Brooks on Instagram, into a personal brand as well. He looked over everything for a moment and then immediately started to put a plan together for me, starting with the business first. The first thing he said was that we're leaving money on the table by not having certain operations and payment systems in place. And of course, I already knew that, but it just confirmed what I was already thinking in my mind already. So he suggested that we adjust our offering and change our prices. I'm not gonna go into all of the fine details about my business, but what I wanted to do is leave you all with the big takeaways that I learned from my first half day with Bedros. Takeaway number one, you gotta learn how to get your time back. Stop spending so much time in the business and start outsourcing certain roles and positions that take up a lot of your time or positions that you just don't like doing so that you can get back to the things that you need to do to move the business forward. An example of this for me would have been doing payroll for my team. I honestly, hated doing payroll. So I hired someone to take that off my plate so that I can stick to the more creative work. Takeaway number two, offer more value and also change the price of the program. Recently, the price of FitBoss just went up, but I personally didn't feel aligned to increasing the prices without adding in more value for our coaches inside the program. So what I chose to do to increase the value of our coaching program is to actually add in more live coaching from us, which is awesome. I actually added in daily live coaching because my only goal with helping our coaches is to get them to a six figure running rate with their business. The more touch points we have with our coaches, the more chances we have to guide them to take the right actions so that they can get to their goals. Takeaway number three, being around Bedros, he has also opened my mind to thinking about bigger numbers of what FitBoss could actually make and eventually make. Bedros also shared with me what other coaches in the industry are really making and also how things work. And what I realized is that it's not a lot of extra work that I had to do, but the understanding of how not to leave money on the table and to also capitalize on what I already have. Takeaway number four, in order to double my revenue, I also had to scale my sales team. Now, we scaled FitBoss once again to seven figures with just two sales reps. To double our revenue, all we're doing is adding one more salesperson to the mix and also adjusting how we do our sales calls. Takeaway number five, networking. While I was there during my half day, my ads were actually blocked at the time. And the guy he connected me with, within 24 hours of us getting off the phone, I had my ads back. And this was amazing because it reminded me of the quote that says your network is equal to your net worth, right? And seeing this in action of me having a problem, him picking up the phone, getting in contact with somebody, that person then contacted me, us doing business, and immediately we got the issue resolved. That is the power of having people in your network. And that immediately increased my net worth because I was able to get my ads back on and get back in the game. Last but not least, takeaway number six, he coached me through some limiting beliefs and also mindset. At the end of our working day, we talked about what was going on in my personal life and he helped me navigate different challenges that I was currently facing at the time. The best part was him calling me out on my personal bullshit, but also with compassion and from a place of understanding. One of the mindset and personal beliefs advice that he gave me that day was 
the number one thing that ruins a man's life is the woman he marries. And the number two thing is controlling your impulse decisions. This really hit me because I am 32. I'm not married yet. And I want to make sure that I have all my ducks in a row before going down that road. Hey, what's up? I want to briefly interrupt to say what was not shown in that previous clip was also the number one thing that makes a man's life more purposeful and actually gives it more life is also a woman. And it can be the best thing in the world. The point of the conversation was to make sure that you choose wisely. And this also goes vice versa as well for women choosing men or men choosing men, women choose. It doesn't matter who you date or what you date. What matters the most is who you choose because you're allowing that person to be in your space. In closing, I would say one of the best parts about working with Bezos is that the coaching I get from him I get to directly pour into my fit boss coaches so that they can level up even faster and strengthen their entrepreneurship mindset and become the boss. All right. So fast forwarding to today, it's already been five months so far. And next month is our second check in. And I have completed everything on my goal list, including being on track to double my revenue for this year. So if you're a coach that is on the fence about investing in a coach, it's time to get off the fence and it's time to make smart decisions. It's actually foolish and egoic to not invest in a coach. Here's why. A coach is going to see your blind spots, challenge you to think bigger and make sure you're doing the right things on a daily and weekly basis to get the results you want. So don't be scared to invest in a coach when what you're really doing is betting on yourself and you're investing into your dream. The coach is going to be there to help guide you to the realization of that dream. If you're a fitness coach and you want my help personally, then I highly suggest that you watch the free masterclass linked in the description where I go over exactly what you need to be doing in your business to take your business to six figures. If you like what you hear from that masterclass, there will be an opportunity for you to book a call with myself and my team to see if you will be a good fit to join FitBoss. We'll get on the phone and learn about your goals and about your challenges and create a plan for you from start to finish. That link will be left in the description. That's it for this video. See you next week.